welcome to another Crucible and Coffee. Today I am jamming a deck that I got in a sealed event. Uh, I'll go over in just one second, just going to take out, check out this list. The Edai with the Code Monkey is not fun. Tato Vapors, Mimic Gel is always sweet. And the Saurians look pretty good. No surprise there. We got a Fangtooth Cavern, Fuzzy Gruen, Ghost Hawk Key Charge. All right. Good to know a third key could be problematic. So this deck that I'm rolling with, I got in sealed, and um, I never got to play because we were playing sealed reversal. And this was a terrible deck to have for sealed reversal. Uh, Logos, Star Alliance, and um, Saurians is not something you want someone to be playing against you. And the funny thing was, is my opponent uh, got the Saurius Rex out like every single game. And basically got to look through the whole deck, so the whole sealed thing just went out the window. But I will say that um, this deck seems really good, and it was really cool seeing multiple other players play a deck and see the perspectives they have, so I found that super interesting. Uh, Axiom of Grisk from the Wild Wormhole is something I need to watch out for. We can all win. Is there anything here? I guess I do need one creature down. Okay, so we're going to go... Logos. I'm going to drop the Hapsis, and then I'm going to Wild Wormhole. We can all win. Okay, cool. Not a bad time for that. Um, let's put the Red Alert in the archives, and we'll Wild Wormhole again. Drop the replicator. I don't want to rep protect the replicator. I'd rather protect the Kirby next turn is what my plan is here. Perfect, and I can hit up a Star Alliance turn next, or should I go for a Dino turn? No, you got to go Star Alliance. Oh, nice. Got a Phalanx Strike. Not very uh, good effect though. Code Monkey, okay. So, um, this deck doesn't have the Edai, so I think I may want to. Yeah, Saurius isn't going to get play this turn, but I could set up. So basically, I could set up the Saurius Rex for the following turn, which I think might be the play, because they did a lot of removal right now. Even though it's not efficient, I'm going to try and set up the future here, because I don't really have anything to play from Calm Officer Kirby, so uh, let's just do that. And I got a sweet Star Alliance turn next time. So yeah, this deck seems really cool. Um, all my opponents basically just got a dino board out and then just went to town getting to use Saurius Rex. Their decks that I used did not have great removal and there's quite big dinos in here. And uh, Senator Baracus, which is really nice. So all my creatures get the benefit of uh, spending Ember captured on them or exalted on them. Not to mention there is a Shrix as well, so it's uh, it's really good in that sense. There's no real way to protect the Ember on the creatures, though, other than an Imperium Ward and a Ward from one of the uh, the Tricerian Legionnaires. So that's that's the only other thing. Place oh, Paraguardian, interesting. And the Raider, so... We're sticking with the plan. Do you want to take my archives? Um, yes. 
We're going to red alert just to start things off. And then let's go with... So how do I want to set this up? So Kirby, I want to be the most protected. So let's put Kirby... So I'm gonna have three to that side, then I'll have one, two, three on the other side, perfect. I'll put Kirby on the left. Put Wells on the right. Put Frayne on the right. Let's have, and keep Hapsis because it can get warded. Information Officer Gray on the right. Archive Igor. And I think I'm going to boost up the Brutodon Auxiliary just to keep my creatures even more safe. There we go, I got a center battle line and here's all the dino stuff, so this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So their Ember is saved with the Perfectus Ludo. I'm gonna do a Reap Exalt here. Oh, tribute, great card. So I'd have to take out Perfectus Ludo. All my ember is gone. Got rid of Kirby, so I need to drop one creature on the left, which is fine. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Saurians again. I'm gonna drop Odiac. on the left to get my Saurius Rex. What do I want to grab? I think I actually want to get a regrettable Meteor. And just ward my dinos. That's what I think I'm going to do. Yep, I'm gonna get a regrettable meteor and ward my dinos. So let's fight into Perfectus Ludo. And then Pull the Regrettable Meteor. Play the Chant of Hubris. Moving from here to here. Then I'll play the Imperium. Ward. Oh, I probably should have not taken it off that one. That's okay. I guess I'm gonna have to let Odiac die here, unfortunately. That was a mistake doing it that way. Oh well. Then drop the regrettable meteor. Play the Thero Centurion here on the left to keep my battle line boosted. And then I'm going to take out Raider Galleon. 
and that's that. And that's the way this deck kind of plays. It's got the Tau Tau. Is there the Cutthroat Research I have to worry about getting played here? Nope. Edai create the key cost increase, that's always good. So I think I'm honestly just going to go dinos again. I don't see any reason not to. So I'm going to go Saurian. This time I will reap, exalt. And I think I want to grab a Tricerian Legionnaire because I actually want to, well, let's see how many do I have here so I can get one, two, two more Ember puts me at five. Yeah, I guess I go for Shrix. Uh, no, because the Archives, okay. So yeah, we're going to go with the Tricerian Legionnaire play. We're gonna play Tricerian Legionnaire on the right. We're gonna ward Baracus. Or sorry, we're gonna ward uh Sorius Rex. That was a mistake. I should have actually warded Sender Baracus. Uh, my opponent did this the other night during Sealed as well, and I realized that was a mistake, and yet I just repeated it, so that's cool. I'm gonna get rid of Edai. Reap, and that's all I can do this turn. But I am in check because of Senator Baracus, which is sweet. Yeah, this deck is, is really good. I'm not going to lie. I, watching people play, it was crazy. Okay, so untamed. So here comes the heat. Fight, Ghost Hawk to Reap, perfect. Cutthroat Research, here we come. So I can't steal. Uh, key Charge. That's one way of doing it. And now we just start all over again. So do I have any upgrades in here? Nope. Okay, so... I mean, I just go dinos again, basically. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, I'm just going to go dinos. I'm going to go Saurian. I'm just going to go reap. Oh, I cannot fight. Good to know. Reap. Uh, do I pull out just the Shrix this turn? No, I think I'm going to go Axiom. Because getting the board control is all I really need. I'm going to reap here. Reap, reap, what do I want to save here, I guess I just save my brooded on auxiliary and let everything else go by the wayside. I think that should close out the game. 
Yeah, this deck is, is pretty saucy the way it can play. Who knows, maybe he's got a, an e die or something like that. Um, Mimic Gel. Copying. And that's game. So that's the way that uh, game plays. It's uh, This deck is sweet. It's one of my, uh, it's in my top Worlds Collide decks for sure. And you just go dinos and have fun. Um, you do have to watch out for board wipes though. Uh, this opponent did not have that. So I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, may your ember never be stolen and you forge your keys promptly. Have a good one.